I'm not scared of a lawsuit from Tulumbu's people. Show me what is untrue in the letter. According to Chimamanda Adichie, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. Popular award-winning Nigerian author Chimamanda Adichie has come out to say that she is not scared of a lawsuit from the president-elect after the letter she wrote to the president of the United States about Nigeria's presidential election. According to Chimamanda Adichie, who appeared in an interview on Rai TV this night, she said, and I quote, No, I'm not worried at all. Again, I think that these things that try to deflect from what is really important and what is at stake. It would be very useful if people could point out what is untrue in the letter. We all know the stories of people who complained about how we voted in the polling unit, and it's not what they're saying and reflecting in the results and all of those stories. Yes, are anecdotes, but they still give us useful insight into what happened in that election. In a way that all of those anecdotes together becomes a kind of tidy wave of truth-telling. And I think that the rumors surrounding this election are part of the stories of this election. The thing is, the, the woman, the lady, no right waiting, no day okay. You know right waiting, be lie. The election results... As in, people started complaining during the coalition of results because people say for their polling unit and for their phone, then counts LUP 298, LUP 440. But when then they see their results for tele, then they see 11, then they see 18, then they see 50. Where the rest work go? No, no, no. Where the rest work go? I don't know if you understand me. Where the rest work go? Then what now happened during the governorship election as well? So you cannot come as a... No, 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 no. It's not possible. It's not possible. Can you imagine the rebel says the rumors around the election are part of a story told about the election? So he wrote a letter to Biden to say the election based on the rumors you gathered. Which rumors you gathered? Ha! This English language will cause problem more. The bad elements of this nation are which divine misled destruction meet. The thing is, drag Chimamada from now till next year. Waiting she writes, now waiting happen. There will always be haters. Even the Bible did not promise peace and uh, peace at all times, but said that we should prepare for war. Okay. Oh, you are asking a very important question here. You see, that is why we are saying that the hatred for the Igbos is getting out of hand. A well-known writer globally recognized, just ate her own two cents, her own opinion. She just came out to give opinion. That is all. And her little contribution have now sparked thunder and lightning. In fact, Chansoma don't blow on top of her head. Hmm? Because she's evil. Evil should continue just the watch. The thing is, I keep asking myself, you know, are you now saying if you're putting all these things together, you are going to be saying why these people keep screaming marginalization? If you keep putting all these things together, you will start seeing the reason why people always start screaming marginalization, most especially the Southeasterners. Their eyes are blind. They take the truth for lies and lies for truth. That is Nigeria for you. I'm telling you, typical Nigerian, they go see what's in be white, they go call them black. They go see what's in be black, they go call them white. It is no longer a living place for Nibu man. Biafra is the answer. Okay. Igbo tribes historical media and officer continue. Okay. If she hadn't done what it, if she hadn't done that it means she's a bastard. What did you expect from someone of a native origin? Hmm. Okay. The Bible said the evil ones run when no one is chasing them. APC boys and girls and Balabo children. Oh yeah, go and arrest her. Since you want to arrest anyone that said the truth in this country. One well, idea. The election was fraudulent, and the thing is, it is so clear. Had it been the election was quiet, was free, was fair, maybe she would not have even said anything. All right. You are the most craziest person in us. Ah, okay. They want you to support their corruption and drug business in Chicago. APC is a disease. See them, MCNs of Tunebo and Jagabandit. See the level of the Agbadu, Kasava, and Iwa brains. 
from their comments you shall know them my own be say within this lady talk na truth All right, mm. carry on. Okay, frankly, I'm praying that they should go to court on this matter to humiliate themselves more on this matter. It is only noise anyway. You know a snake with his head cut off usually pretends to be alive for some time. That is what is happening. My own BC make them do the right thing. I keep asking myself, had it been Mamu Yakubo did the right thing? Had it been when he noticed irregularities he stopped collating the result? Had it been he did not move beyond, he see said something there wrong, he no continue to recall the result, he stop. We are not going to be where we are today. We are not. It shall be well with you, my sister. The Bible said, we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. This girl don't receive advice from madman again. <sighs> okay. I'm ashamed of it because of a tribe, man. That is the reason why you're supporting evil. Evil shall follow you. The country is not on run. This country is not run on truth. You should try your best to understand that there are vast majority that have been washed, gullible, and complacent with lies, and some have become psychophants just to feed. The thing is, she's not having it. And we're not supposed to expect I, I have it. We should demand for a country that normal people lives in. Like normal people lives. All Ibu are mad, they always take advice from madman. Are you really serious? Okay. No, Hala. We know your type now. Amanda, now rise TV, your type they go. Very soon. Now I know you will be nowhere to be found. Okay. Okay, no problem. When the election of 1993, in which M. Kabiola widely believed to have won, was messed with, all Nigerians of good conscience, not just the Yorubas, fought to ensure that the mandate was returned. It was that struggle that led to Basenjo, an Ewa man from Mago State, where Abela hailed from, became the president of Nigeria. Why is it that Yoruba who benefited immensely from collective struggle for equity and fairness now indignant against those standing for same cause? My dear, if you ask me, I don't know who I go ask. There is nothing to be worried about because all the evil agenda of the APC will soon be uncovered, and those supporting them will not escape the mighty hands of God. Let honorable men be prepared. If they escape at the tribunal, do not escape in the Supreme Court of God. We are waiting the outcome. Okay, well, on this matter, I still feel that there is no issue here. I don't know why they are bullying Chimamada all around. And she's not the kind of person that you can even bully that easily. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.